today I am going to show you about the beautiful plant equisetum in the lap of nature. Mr. Alok told me about this habitat. Yes, I have got the beautiful plant growing luxuriantly in the natural habitat. These are the plant of equisetums and this plant belongs to the division pteridophyte of plant where there is no flower formation. Plant they reproduce by the formation of a strobilus or cone at the tip. But as I see these are the vegetative branches and there are no cone. But this equisetum is also known as horse tails because of the appearance of the branches. This plant has two types of branches. One is the horizontal rhizometus axis and from this rhizometus horizontal axis a number of erect branches they grow upward and they have numerous branches. If we see the plant very closely it consists of nodes and internodes. And this is the node and this one is also a node where a number of branches they arise and in between the two nodes this is the internode and this is very brittle. We can break this plant into the segments and if we see about the stem, the stem is hollow and leaves are very much reduced found at nodes only they are attached in a sheathing base stem has the circular outline with a number of ridges and furrows and internally it is hollow this pteridophyte that is equisetum it has evolved on earth before 300 million years and during the time of dinosaurs probably this plant has provided the fodder for the dinosaurs which are now extinct and yes we have got some more individuals with beautiful strobilus strobili are born on this plant in late spring here is the beautiful cone of equisetum this equisetum cone has a central axis scale is here in centimeter the cone has a central axis inside and around this central axis a number of hexagonal sporangiophores are born which are attached in a cyclic manner these sporangiophores they produce a number of spores which are haploid and after germination these spores they produce next generation of gametophyte and after sexual reproduction in the gametophyte another this sporophyte is born and thus the life cycle is completed. This equisetum absorb silica as well as the calcium and phosphorus from the soil. It is also known as gold rush because it has been reported that this plant accumulate gold from the soil. But whether it actually absorb gold from the soil or not, I do not know very firmly. And yes, if it absorb gold, that means it can be used as a indicator of gold in the soil. Thank you Mr. Alo.